make some let's make some pillars around here. I have I have an image in my mind, but it's uh, it's probably not going to look as good as I think it's going to look. But I do indeed have an image in my mind. And we're gonna try and hopefully recreate that if I can get out of here. All right, so good job, Dylan. Now you are now you're on your your other side of your giant walled-in fortress. And I can't get out. That's the one thing that just if you're if you're ever playing Minecraft and you're kind of you're wanting to relax and you're like, oh man, I just I just want to relax. And you go in there and you're like, oh man, this game is fun. But then you come to a giant body of water. <laughs> you get to that water, and then you can't move. That's that is one of the things that does indeed annoy me the most. But then again, I am a I'm a picky jerk. So what I want to do is I want to kind of create some steps to our little our little labyrinth. So <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just running with it and hoping it looks good. So actually, I kind of want to clear this out. So, once again, this is this probably is video 2 of Minecraft Adventures, although I do not know I am having a giant recording session. I don't have my watch with me, which I normally use to figure out how long I've been recording, but I kind of figured I don't really really need to do that for this one. I have to admit, the biggest draw to Minecraft for me is probably the music. It's just the music is fantastic. Ha, <laughs> my little castle wall. Alright, so it's not looking too bad. I would indeed say for me, this is, uh, this is spectacular. I want to get some glass, actually. Like to maybe, you know, put glass there, maybe have some water running. That would look really cool. We're gonna need to actually go up there soon to knock back some of the... Some of... Eh, it, eh, eh, there we go. <laughs> We need to knock back some of the, the stone that is up there because I would like the water to fall more towards the edge of this right around here. And actually, that one is, but that one is a little off. So it's really not that big of a deal, but that's just something I would like to do. So I wanna I wanna clear this out more, just because I don't I don't think it looks that good. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. X kind of did something like this, where you know, after he was, you know, kind of bored with his X adventures, he he did something very similar to this. And uh, I don't I don't mean to be ripping off of him, but uh, I don't know. It just it seemed like a good idea, you know, just to kind of start something fresh. Uh, unlike X, though, I probably will most likely continue doing Minecraft videos. Uh, it, it's it's. I, I do enjoy them, but um, I, I don't know. I know you guys really like them, so it, it's more along the lines of that, but I, I, I'm not terribly bored of the game yet, because something like this, this is actually pretty fun. I am indeed enjoying this, and hopefully you guys are also. Uh, let's see... All right, let's, let's take care of this. You're probably going, oh man, Banana Pie Lord. <laughs> this is some exciting gameplay. I know. I, I know, man. I do my best to make everything exciting. I'm kind of like the exciting king of uh, everything that is awesome. 
That is, that is what I indeed do. That is what I am in, indeed very good at, making things excitable. So, right around here, I think we need to throw some of this dirt. And probably the main thing I like about this texture pack is, I don't know if it's just me, but this, this, this totally reminds me of, um, Zelda Ocarina of Time. I believe that's what it was called. The one for the N64. Uh, not Majora's Mask, but the one before that. I think it was Ocarina of Time. I loved that game. That game was awesome. That, Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, and uh, Mario Kart were some of my all-time favorite games. And I know a lot of you might not really know much about those games, mainly because you might be, you may have been born after me, or quite frankly, you never played those when you were my age, but I, I indeed love those games. And I, I, I don't know, I have this thing, like Banjo-Kazooie is literally my all-time favorite game, and I, I watch a lot of LPs on that game, even though I have played through it countless times, but it is just one of those things that is so perfect that I just I can't stop watching it. Like, uh, my one friend, we don't we don't really talk as much anymore. Uh, you know, mainly just due to, you know, not talking. That kind of happens sometimes. But, uh, he actually has his own LP of Banjo-Tooie and Kazooie. And yes, Banjo-Tooie is the sequel to Banjo-Kazooie, in case you could not tell. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. We're going to need to create some way to get up here, though. Although, I don't, don't really know. Let me survey the area and let me figure out how exactly I'm going to... Exactly how I'm going to do this. I do know that I'm... Oh, well, speak of the devil. I need a new shovel already. So... <laughs> Can I make it? Ah, I indeed made it. Actually, something we probably should make that I haven't made yet. We need our storage chest, because the storage chest will indeed help us in our adventures in this giant world that we call Minecraft. So, I don't really exactly have a specific place that I want to set this, but for now, I am going to set it here. And uh, I really, really like how that looks. Not exactly the placement, but the texture for the actual chest itself. I think that looks very good. So let's see, we need to indeed make a shovel. Actually, a couple of shovels. Might as well make about... Eh, I think dose is good. I don't think we need any more than dose. It did. Uh... Alright, so let's see. Let's clear out some uh some of this. Alright, that that I think that looks good. Very good. Very good indeed. So I have I have something to mention. I've been talking about this quite a lot actually in random stuff on my channel and in case you guys do not know I am a huge podcast nerd I, I listen to them constantly uh, I, I, I indeed love podcasts something about it it just uh, it's, it's it's real nice I don't know I just I, I can't really explain it I just I like them quite a lot so I was curious Tyler and I actually have some plans to do a podcast on tech and gaming. Uh, we cover some of the latest tech, some of the latest gamings, uh, maybe just some funny tech stories, you know, like weird stuff. There's actually this one I read that probably would have been a viable one. It was uh, this lady in the UK. She had her snowman stolen and she called it to the police to per called it to the police and reported it. And I found that hilarious. Although I think I think the police did not indeed find that hilarious. But that is some of the stuff that would be in it, you know, random stories and you know, funny stuff like that. And tech would just cover tech and 
Games will cover games. I don't really know how to explain that one too much, but that that is uh, that is along the lines of what it would indeed be like. And actually, I'm looking at this. I I think I think this would look good by doing this, and then finding some sand, covering this up. So I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't know about, about this right here. Actually, I think, I think we should go a little bit farther back with this, and, uh, I do indeed need another, another pick, but that is, that's cool, that's cool, I will just randomly walk back, find a pick, and, we'll do, oh, I had a pick in my inventory. Well, never mind, good job, Dylan, you are indeed, you are indeed a good soul, and you are indeed good at doing good things. <laughs> I don't I don't really know what to say, to be honest. Sometimes I just go off on little tangents talking about absolutely nothing. And this is definitely one of those times. Like uh, something that I've always always thought, and I don't I don't know how many of you are going to agree with me, but Angelina Jolie, in my opinion, I don't know why people find her so hot. Maybe maybe that's just me, but I do not think she is attractive at all. <laughs> I can hear some of you just going, You are a gay homosexual thespian. And the thespian part is definitely correct, but the homosexual part is it's a little off. Just a tiny bit. So I think we're actually going to end here very soon. As soon as I probably finish around here. So I just wanted to... Just have a little recording session, talk about stuff, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, hopefully this wasn't too boring for you guys. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a lot of fun just to talk about what's on my mind. Alright, well, there was a little... <laughs> a little disturbance. My dog decided to run into my room and bark like a maniac, and I had to tell him no! Mr. Dog, and then I had to let him outside to chase squirrels in the yard. So, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to tell me if you like this kind of stuff, and uh, I will see you on the next episode of something, if not this. But thank you guys. You are indeed a very amazing audience. You are the best subscriber base ever. So, I will see you on the next episode. My name is Banana Pie Lord.